Pavel, start by recapping last week. How did St God you here put up after its third in the Galaxy? Oh, I took a lot out of him, Edward, because he, uh, he trialled on the Monday and then he backed up on the Saturday. And he's a fresh horse, so it really bottomed him out. So um, just have to see what happens. Where to from here with him, or are you just taking it one day at a time? No, he'd probably go to Brisbane, but at the moment we're just taking it one day at a time. Look, I won't overtax the horse in any way. If he gives me any excuse not to go anywhere, or, or he needs a let up or whatever, that'll be happening. In the James Carr Stakes here on Saturday, you've got I Walk the Line. How'd she come through the run on the PJ Bow last time? Look, she come through, she's had a couple of little setbacks leading into the race and she come through it better than I expected. So she'll be, um, look, you know, you can't have them ready for a 12 and a 14 and then a, a 2400. So, um, but she, you'll see a marked improvement in her run this, this Saturday. What's the expectations of her for the race? Uh, for this Saturday? Um, if I, she finished in the middle of them, I'd be happy, but I've got a funny feeling she might even do a bit better than that. And where is she headed for this campaign? This should go to the 1800 uh, Phillies and Mares, or Phillies at uh, the Gold Coast, the bracelet, or whatever it's called, on in a fortnight. Then she goes to uh, Do uh, Eagle Farm in a 2100 uh, or 2020, and then she goes to the Oaks, hopefully.